Yo dudes! Welcome to Easy Vegan Pot Pie. So this <laughs> might sound like pot pie, but it's actually pot, pot pie. Pot pie. So this is a savory, perfectly winter dish. Tastes like a warm hug. Perfect celebrity dinner centerpiece for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. It's delicious. We're gonna put the whole thing together in 45 minutes and it is banging, it will sing to your soul. Okay, okay. first step, we've got a decent wide bottom pan on a high heat, very important. In to that pan, we are going with a tablespoon of oil. I have 200 grams of assorted mushrooms. I'm using oyster mushrooms and shiitake. Use whatever type you want. But if you can use the slightly more expensive ones, they're gonna have a more grisly, kind of meaty mouthfeel. In on top of our mushrooms, we're gonna add in a little bit of thyme. So about four sprigs of thyme. Thyme goes great with mushrooms and good to get it straight into the pan now and just get those flavors infusing. So after we fried in the mushrooms for a minute or two, we're gonna go in there with two cloves of garlic. The garlic just goes so well with mushrooms. It really kind of pops and gives that base flavor to our pot pie. Okay, we fried the mushrooms for about four minutes. They are starting to brown a small bit, indicating flavor development. Now, enter the wine. I'm gonna go in with about 100 ml of wine. Uh, don't worry, the alcohol will boil off, but it's just gonna add in an extra depth of flavor to it, and a wonder kind of sweetness and an acidity to it. Yeah, wine goes super well, it's kind of like, <laughs> I always use tamari with mushrooms, but wine goes equally as well, wine, wine and garlic. Wine, garlic and thyme, boom, beautiful. Okay, so next up we've prepped 400 grams of veg. We've used real wintry veg. I've got 400 grams of leek. I simply diced them up and uh, rinsed them. And we've got 400 grams of squash. We're just gonna add them into the pan now. So total volume of veg is approximately 800 grams we have. Okay, it's really important here we put in a generous pinch of salt. It'll just help break down the cell wall and help the flavors marry together. Mix that through and then we're gonna put a lid on and leave it sweat for probably 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so while the veg is stewing away, we're gonna do our couscous. So I've got about 250 grams of wholemeal couscous. Wholemeal is much better because it's higher in fiber. It'll be better for your digestion and better for so many different things. So I've literally put it in a bowl. So we've got a generous pinch of salt. I'm just gonna mix the salt through it a little bit. If you do wanna add more fat to the dish, just put a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna leave it out here. Just level it out and we're simply just gonna cover it in boiling water. So we wanna fill it until it's about a little over a centimeter just over the surface. Just level it out. So that's really it. And literally we're just gonna cover it and leave it sit for five minutes. And next up we're gonna make a simple bechamel sauce. It's a nice white creamy sauce that's gonna be the backbone of this dish. So I have a pan on medium heat. I'm gonna go in with four tablespoons of oil of choice. In on top of that, hold a sieve. And we're gonna again spoon in four tablespoons. We're gonna make what's known as a roux. This is a basic means of thickening a white sauce. So we're gonna go with four tablespoons of white sauce, or of just basic white flour. If you're gluten-free, use gluten-free flour. I'm gonna go in a little pinch of salt. It'll start to thicken, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cook it down for a minute or two until it starts to brown slightly. And really what it's doing is cooking off that raw flour flavor. And if I want to just put a few sprigs of thyme in at this stage, it's just gonna imbue a little bit more flavor. Okay, once we're happy that's starting to brown, I'm gonna go with oat milk. Use whatever type of non-dairy milk is your favorite. I'm gonna go in with about 500 ml, so about half a liter. And as you pour it, just slowly stir. Oat is great because it's naturally kind of creamy. Uh, but obviously use almond, soya, rice, whatever your milk of, non-dairy milk of choice is. I'm gonna add in about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can put in onion powder or mustard or anything like that if you want to. I'm just gonna go with a little bit of garlic powder. It'll complement the leeks really, really well. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna bring it to the boil and as it comes to the boil, it's gonna naturally thicken. So every so often, just give the veg a little stir just to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pot. But we're, make sure once you're using a non-stick pan, there's no sticking, it's beautiful. Um, just moving around. Uh, so our bechamel is really bubbling away. I'm gonna turn it off the heat. It's gonna naturally thicken as it cools. I'm gonna add in a little generous pinch of black pepper. And something I love is nutritional yeast. I think it gives that cheesy element. It really enhances the flavor. I'm gonna give them with three tablespoons. That's a tablespoon, is it? Well, approximately. <laughs> nutritional yeast is quite a like kind of thing. But uh, I think it just adds a great depth of flavor to it. Yeah, just add an extra. Obviously note. leave it out if you don't have it or don't know what it is. Okay, so our veg is stewed down. Uh, a little bit of it has started sticking to the bottom of the pot. So what we're gonna do here is add about two to three tablespoons of boiling water. And grab a kind of spatula and really try to incorporate any of that grizzle, any of that char. So 
One of the purpose of cooking is to develop flavors and all this char is just flavor development. So just- It's really caramelization that you really want to incorporate to the veg. So boil them water down and a little bit of scrapey scrapey for a minute and you incorporate that lovely flavor. Uh, okay, next step we have our bechamel sauce. This is about five, 600 uh, mil in total volume. I'm gonna pour this in. This is gonna give the creamy component, this delicious, wholesome, Moorish kind of taste to it. So see the way once we uh, lift, lift the lid from the couscous, it's really puffed up massively. What we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate half of it here and we'll keep half of it to serve with the dish. So the purpose of the couscous is it's the binder, it's the starch that's gonna add more structure to our creamy sauce. So we'll just incorporate it all together now. I have 200 grams of cashew nuts which I toasted. So I literally put in a dried pan and just kept them moving for about six to seven minutes until they started to brown around the outside. <clears throat> I've kind of chopped them up into various different sizes. They're gonna add extra whole food source of fat. They're gonna add bite and they're gonna add crunch and variety of texture and taste to the dish. Okay, so now to bring our dish together, what we're gonna do is for these pot pies, we're gonna use four individual small little medium sized things. Small little medium sized things. <laughs> These are going to be our pots to serve our pie in. So we're going to start by simply dividing our mixture between each of all four of them. So it's not really an individual pie, it's kind of a sharing pie between two. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get three beautiful kind of double portion pies. So this should serve six people comfortably. Okay, now time to roll out our pastry. So obviously your sheet of pastry, just buy store-bought puff pastry. I'm going to just flour my work surplus just a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do is literally take the, each tin and we're gonna cut around it. I'm gonna bring it right to the edge. I'm gonna go a little bit bigger so I just have a little bit of excess. And we're literally just gonna top it. There we go, puff by topper. Because this is autumnal, I'm gonna do something a little bit fancy. I'm gonna make just a simple, easy leaf, kind of Christmassy style leaf. Okay, so we've got our pies ready to go. Finally, just encourage caramelization and encourage them to go golden on top. We've got a little bit of oat milk and a pastry brush, and I'm simply gonna brush the top of them with a bit of oat milk. And oat milk works great. It works even better than uh, putting oil on top of it, we find, and it's got less calories, obviously, which is great. Boom, okay, okay. Cool. We've preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. We're gonna bake them for about 20 minutes until the pastry goes lovely and golden. Okay, so the pot pies have been in the oven for 25 minutes. The smell is wonderful. It's time to get them out. Oh, lovely. It's terrible, isn't that? Okay, here we go. All that's left to be done is to get stuck in. So here we go. Listen for the crack and the crumble of this delicious puff pastry. Oh. oh. So obviously, garlic any, any way you want, whether you're going to go to Oh, look at that. Look at that steam. Mmm. I just don't grab that mushroom. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, so basic framework, we had 800 grams of veg which we stewed down, we had about 250 grams of cooked wholemeal couscous, we had 200 grams of toasted nuts. We made a beautiful bechamel out of four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons It was about 500 ml in total volume. So that was the total composition that came together with one sheet of store-bought puff pastry. So very simple to come together, it took 45 minutes, probably cost us about eight euro, served six people. This is delicious, epic, great centerpiece dinner. Yeah, beautiful. And to work really well, you can bring it to work and impress all your mates the next day, just bang it in the oven. And if you do want to learn more about how to cook, we got our Fundamentals of Vegan Cooking course. It starts every month. It can be done online from every, anywhere in the world. Gets amazing results. Link down below for more details. Beautiful. But uh, thanks to being part of this community. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you to you. Uh, these videos are for you and they're a great creative expression for us. So thanks for all that you do. Cheers. Bye. Bye.